that the success is a journey and it's also about the now. That it's about being present in the will of God and accomplishing the will of God now. You know, many of us have our dreams in the future. We think that when I, I will. Do you have that sentence in your life? When I, I will. When I get that car, I will drive so fast, all my stress will go away. When I get that radio, maybe today it's maybe smartphone. Those days it used to be a radio. My biggest dream was to get the biggest radio. That I would play music and feel like I am with the people playing that music in my room. Did you get it? Oh, I did. Uh, and uh, after three days, my neighbors were complaining. So then it becomes a source of listen. Maura, let me come back to you. First, I hope you have thought of uh, your long moment. Uh, and there's a questions are coming. But there must be somebody or something that has inspired you along the journey. Who has that been? A real person about a book that you have read along this journey that have really, really spoken to you. Uh, as soon as more is done, I'll come back to the rest of us as, as I see when any questions come. I, th I think uh, one of the books, I'm still grappling with a low moment, I'll say it at the very end. One of the series of books that has really inspired me along my few years on this earth has been the series on God's Generals. Uh, I don't know how many in this room have had a chance to read some of those books. Those books are amazing. For me, I see them as a continuation of the Bible. I see real men and women, flesh and blood like me, who went to levels in God that few can only dream of. And for me, it causes me to dream and to imagine and to pursue God with new, you know, fervor and energy. Because if, if you're not pursuing God on this earth, you're pursuing something else. And if you're pursuing something else, it has a, a, a destination or an end in mind. But if you're pursuing God, he, you know, he keeps you, he watches over you and so forth. And so for me, those books have really been encouragers and, and have kept me on the walk. And I have seen great men and women make mistakes. And I am learning from them and praying and, and asking God, keep me. that I will not find myself in that situation to make that mistake. Or if I find myself in that situation, that you give me wisdom on how to handle it. A man who has inspired me, there are many men that have, uh, men and women that have inspired me. Obviously, the life our, our Lord Jesus Christ lived on this earth is one that we should all emulate. Here in Kenya, the story of Dr. Uh, Charles Muli, of the Muli Children's Home in Ukambani, is an amazing story of a man who in the 1970s, God gave him wealth the way he brings rain sometimes, in abundance. And then one day God puts it in his heart to have a hunger to help street children. And I know this story very well because I went to school with his sons. And how, okay, sometimes God's vision can confuse those around you. And, and, and so that's a story for another day. But nevertheless, God put it in his heart and he actually went and sold his businesses. He had long distance buses in the 70s going far and wide and opened a children's home. And with time, God has blessed him that he has touched the lives of so many young children. But in addition, the farm that they have in Okambani, I think, does fresh vegetables that they export to the EU. So he has blessed them in this other place, whereas man would have said, why did you leave a solid business? And he has touched the lives of young men and women who had no parents and no one to take care of them. For me, I, I ask myself, Wahiga, you know, when, you, when you're on your deathbed, and, and I pray God will give me a chance to reflect on the deathbed, Will I say, I, I wish I had more hours. I wish I worked harder. I wish I got the next Range Rover. Or will I say, thank God that so and so is where they are because of what God enabled me to do. That this has changed. That Kenyans are educated better because of the platform God gave me. Those are the things I think about. Finally, on a low moment, I can't think of one specifically, but I know what I do when I have low moments. I take them to God. You know he knows what's going to happen in my life even tomorrow. So when there's a low moment, I go to him and say, okay, God, what, what is this thing for? If it's a mistake I did, forgive me. If it's something I'm supposed to learn, teach me. So that next time, things are better. And so that's how I generally deal with, with, with all low moments in my life. Great. The Fellowship of Christian Unions. Reaching students. Changing nations.